Hello wizards, how are you doing today? Many times in our spiritual awakening journey, we feel that we want to know whether a particular path would be helpful for us or not, or whether making a certain choice would be really beneficial for us or not. Today, I want to share with you a simple way by which you can recognize that using the imaginary levels of reality. You see, the easiest way to understand whether a certain choice is beneficial for you is to notice how you are feeling about that choice in your state of being. You see, your state of being is your inner guidance system. It is constantly giving you signal whether the choice that you are making or you are about to make is aligned with your highest path. You see, you have a life purpose timeline, your path of least resistance and most harmonious evolution. And your inner guidance system wants you to be in alignment with that timeline so that you can live magically and you can accelerate the fastest, the quickest, right? Now, the choices that we make, like when we're in a vehicle, when we're driving, the choices that we make can either take us away from our life purpose timeline or can take us towards. And that is why it's important that you pay attention to your state of being when you are making a choice, right? Now, what I want to share with you is how you can use the imaginary levels of reality to make a choice which can really help you up level a lot. You see, so maybe you will notice as you go about your day that there is something that you'd like to do. Maybe you want to buy something, maybe you want to talk with a friend, maybe you are resonating with the idea of joining a new job, beginning a new career does not matter what it is, okay? And you are feeling like, how do I know if that is the right thing to do? How, how, how do I do that? How do I know that, okay? This is what I want you to do when you're feeling like it, okay? I would like you to experience the experience in the imaginary levels of reality. For example, you are just pondering with the idea whether talking with a certain friend about a certain challenge that is going on in your life would be the greatest thing to do. And you're feeling a little bit uh, confused that whether that would really be to my benefit or not. What you can do is you can, for a while, close your eyes and visualize that friend, you know, and maybe talk with them in your imagination, right? You don't have to do a whole lot of talking. You don't have to do a lot of imaginary interaction. You don't have to do that. But... Just bring them up and feel that you are moving into their presence and you are interacting and opening up and see how it is reacting, okay? How the imaginary levels of reality is making you feel, right? You see, what we call a person, a situation, or anything in life is basically energy. Life is all energy, right? A physical person is a physicalized form of energy. That's it right so when you bring up a certain person what you are doing is you are taking the energetic aspect of their version and then you are interacting and if you feel that just interacting with them is feeling resonant it feels that um oh, it's nice just being in the present feels nice sharing this topic or whatever that is a clear sign that your inner guidance is telling you yeah that would be right a nice thing to do in in the physical reality too Sometimes you might not even need to do it if the whole thing is covered in the imaginary levels of reality. But if it feels that, yeah, that is still res relevant, you can now go move forward and make that decision. The essence of it is about noticing how your state of being reacts in the imaginal level, in the imaginary levels. Because what we call imagination is actually another form of reality, a less condensed form of reality. Right? So when we bring the energy, the energy of that person and interact there, we are taking a shot of a preview before watching the movie. It's like watching the trailer before you decide to watch the whole movie. Right? So if the trailer resonates with you, probably the movie would resonate with you. You know, that is the thing. The same thing that you do with a person, you can do with anything. It could be about any choice that you're making. For example, you want to move into a new career, or you want to experiment with something, or you want to decide something, right? And you're feeling confused because you're feeling like, I don't know. You can do the same thing. You can create the whole experience 
of the new job or the new place or the new thing that you want to do create the whole imaginary you know reality again what you call the imaginary reality is just a less condensed form of that reality so it's never just imagination okay so when you create that and you notice your state of being how it's reacting it will let you know whether that thing is really meant for you or not okay many times many things we want to do because of negative emotions maybe we want to avoid something maybe we are anxious about something and that's why our anxiety leads us in those directions but if we move into anything because of a negative emotion which basically is a disharmonious state of being it will always lead us away from our path of least resistance and most harmonious evolution our life purpose timeline because you are not motivated by harmony you are motivated by disharmony only disharmony can come into your experience right this is why having a preview helps having a trailer helps right so if you are about to make a choice it could be anything simplest of things right for example having like a food particular food that you're feeling like should i have it or not play with it play with it see yourself having that food see yourself that bringing that food closer to you right notice how your state of being is reacting the food is an energy too okay how your state of being is reacting if you notice that oh my entire state of being is not exactly resonating with that that means that might not be the greatest thing to do right maybe the food is not exactly relevant for you at the moment right similarly anything that you're about to do any choice that you're about to make a business choice a career choice a job choice play with that experience see how you're resonating with if you notice that you are resonating you can move in there if you notice that you are not resonating on the imaginal levels oh my god i can just imagine what will happen to you and how you'll feel if it comes in your physical reality right so definitely that's not the right thing to do so having this power can be mind-boggling you see, you will be able to connect with your inner guidance on such a deep level. You can use this, you know, preview technology that we are talking about, right? So try playing with that, with simple, simple things and see how it works out for you, right? So if you have enjoyed what I've shared with you, then probably you would also like to know about this, that what we are essentially talking about is your inner guidance system, your state of being. It is constantly guiding you towards or way constantly actually guiding you so that you can stay in alignment with your life purpose timeline see you have a path of least resistance you have that path where if you just stay in alignment you can accelerate in your journey and you can experience manifestation of all the thing that is part of your soul's blueprint while you just enjoy this now moment and the easiest way to do is to connect with your inner guidance system you have an inner guidance system which is your state of being and it is so easy to pay attention to your state of being. We just talked a little in this video. In a program that I have created, my four-week program, which is all about connecting with your inner guidance system, I am going to teach you how to pay attention to the four inner indicators of your inner guidance system, which are very much like the indicators of your car's dashboard. Once you can start to pay attention to these four inner indicators, it will be so much easier for you to make the right choices on a moment to moment basis and maintain your alignment with your life purpose timeline. You see? So if you want to know more about how to connect with your inner guidance system, because your inner guidance system is your connection with your higher self, right? If you want to know more about it, if you want to know more about the program, then just send me an email my email address will be in the description of this video send me an inquiry let me know that you want to know about the program and join it i'm going to share with you all about the program and how to join the program right currently i'm redeveloping the program so i'm giving a discount so you don't want to miss it right and if you want to have a private one-on-one -on -one session with me a spiritual integration session with me privately where you can ask me questions about your spiritual awakening challenges and i'll try to provide you spiritual guidance right so if you want to have a one-on-one -on -one session just send me an email right also join my facebook group where i am sharing exclusive written content on spiritual topics join the group it's in the description so i hope you have enjoyed this video watch some of my other videos on spiritual awakening topics which will probably appear on your screen here and fun.